All right, this morning I pulled off all the blankets and sheets and everything I had over my garden. Yes. Oh, your garden. Yeah. They, were they okay? <laughs> it kind of worked. The pepper plant <laughs> survived. The basil got, you know, burned a little bit, but I think I'll still have it for at least a couple more weeks. Good. I don't know. I hope other fellow gardeners fared a little bit better than I did, though. Yes. It, it was cold. It <laughs> was very cold this morning here in the area. And temperatures won't be that cold this weekend, but still chilly. And we still have the potential for frost both tomorrow morning and on Sunday. Day. But more sunshine, yeah, that's going to continue to be with us. This is a live look in downtown Nacogdoches, the top of the Fredonia Hotel. Beautiful picture as the sun really begins to set here in just about 10 to 15 minutes. Here's where we stand with our temperature now in Nacogdoches at 56. A lot of dry air. The dew points are down into the 30s, but they're starting to rise just a bit. And that temperature will approach the dew point, leading to some additional areas of frost possible overnight tonight. Here's where temperatures stand now 56 in Avenue. 56 in Jefferson, 58 in Mount Pleasant, Atlanta is at 55, 55 also in Hawkins, Canton, you're at 58 right now. But here within the next 15 to 20 minutes, we're going to see these temperatures drop down probably into the mid and lower 50s. You notice 55 at Troop in the Lou, Troop at 56 in Longview at 57 degrees, 55 in Henderson, looking at 58 in Jacksonville, Elkhart at 57 at this time, 57 in Crockett, Zavala at 59, while Lufkin is at 56, 55 in Hemphill. Timpson at 58 and Appleby also already down into the lower 50s. Just a very light wind for us this evening, but this light wind will be around, so it is going to add a bit of a wind chill as we go through tonight. We'll see that feels like temperature down into the lower 40s, into the 30s, while the actual air temperatures stay into the lower 40s. Here's your game of the week forecast. The Sabine Cardinals traveling up to Gladewater to the Murph, taking on the Gladewater Bears in just about an hour and 15 minutes. Temperatures will be into the 40. Some areas after the game ends, after about 9.30 or 10, could be even down into the upper 30s, but there is no precipitation to worry about for this evening or overnight. Now, a cold front is on its way overnight as well. That's going to help keep temperatures up just a little bit more, but some areas down close to that freezing mark. 33 over in Jefferson. Longview, you're at 35 in the morning. Athens at about 36, so you'll need to layer up again tomorrow. 34 in Nacogdoches, 35 the morning low in Groveton and tomorrow afternoon a great day as temperatures reach near 60 degrees. Looking long range with future cast, there's that front. No precipitation, just a few clouds. We're going to get through the weekend on a dry note. High pressure will set up in the early on Sunday morning, but then retreat as that southerly wind returns and notice by Sunday evening more clouds begin to roll in. This is going to set the stage for more clouds next week along with a slight rain chance as early as Tuesday. Here comes the Seven day forecast for you, and you'll notice that temperatures are on the rise for the next few days. Looking at lower 60s by Sunday, morning lows by Monday down into the 40s, and there are more clouds on the way for next week. Temperatures for us Tuesday at 67. Next storm chance coming in on Thursday. Here comes Deep East Texas. Great weekend up ahead, plenty of sunshine, but we're also looking at temperatures to rebound back near 70 next week. Marcus, thank you.